So this is gonna be a big year for the iMac. Apple is gonna be redesigning the iMac from the ground up. We're getting a new chassis, new silicon, and a brand new display on next year's iMac. Let's talk about some of the things that we know are gonna come and some of the things that we know are definitely not coming on next year's iMac. If you're new to the channel, my name is Joey. I typically make videos on Apple, Apple News, Apple Things. So if you're into Apple, if you're into tech, make sure to give me a like, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future content. For next year's iMac, you can expect it to be a culmination of a MacBook Pro, a 24 inch iMac, and a Pro Display XDR. Imagine those three products combined into one product. It's gonna be sick. You're gonna get 120 hertz ProMotion mini LED display, the same display that comes on these brand new M1X and M1 Pro MacBook Pros, you're gonna get on this brand new iMac. This iMac is gonna be redesigned, but we're not gonna see a bunch of different colors. We're also not gonna see a notch, just like on the 24 inch iMac. The bezels are gonna be uniform all the way through. You are still gonna get a chin, in my opinion. Uh, Apple brought the notch to the MacBook Pro. They kept the chin on the 24 inch iMac, so for next year's iMac, expect a chin, but don't expect a notch on it. That would just be ridiculous. What else are we getting on this iMac? We're gonna get the M1 Max chips, but when you think about the thermal capacity of a bigger display, a bigger chassis, Apple's gonna be able to get more performance from the M1 Max chip inside an enclosure that's bigger versus the MacBook Pro that has limitations when it comes to thermal throttling. When it comes to the ports, you're gonna get a variety of ports, just like on the MacBook Pro. We're gonna get three Thunderbolt 4 ports, SD card slot, HDMI, headphone jack, and we're gonna get an Ethernet port in the power adapter, just like the 24 inch iMac. So you won't have to carry that cable all the way up to the back of the display, you can just have it on the ground and just leave it there. As for the starting price, we're looking at two grand, which is definitely reasonable when you think about what you're getting. You're getting all the ports, you're getting pretty much a display that's better than Pro Display XDR for two grand, okay? You're getting the brand new Apple Silicon, the M1 Max, that's gonna be future-proof for many years. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that Apple releases this in Q1 or Q2 of next year. But in reality, we're more so looking at Q3 of next year for this brand new iMac. Apple's gonna be releasing it next year, definitely for sure, but in terms of what quarter, it's still up in the air. We don't know that for sure. So let me know in the comments what you think of this new iMac. Are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get the MacBook Pros? Let me know what you're rocking in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next ones. Peace.